Hello, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I'm pre-recording, so I'm kind of in the, in the same sweatshirt and same ensemble. Um, so let's get started. Uh, beautiful blessings to Paper Playground. Um, I'm not sure how you say your name, and I apologize if I say it wrong, but uh, go, Joy Kata, Joy G O. K-O-T-T-A. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you for loving my channel. Um, beautiful blessings to My Paper Journey, MJ Rays, Marjorie Wright, Patricia Perry. Beautiful blessings to you guys. Thank you for joining me and watching my videos. I'm so glad. I hope I inspire you. Um, so we start, we left off, but we were putting in the flips. And then I also wanted to show you guys, I did this side. I think it looks pretty nice. And I'm going to just put this over here. I already cut it in place. This was to cover up my messy glue bit. And I think the color is nice. And I actually like the way it came out. I wish I would have thought of using this um, fabric as the, um, you know, the hidden spine um, fabric, you know, piece. But I didn't think of it when I was doing the video. I just didn't think of it. That's all right. We're using it now. I'm just covering up my glue spot. This is just so you guys don't have to make that same mistake. So trick or lesson learned, um, use the white for the inside. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting this right in here like that. And there we go. And I covered up the glue and it's something pretty to look at. Oops. All right. I am going to make um, another book using one signature very soon. Um, I have another project that I'm starting and I need to get on it. So I'm going to do that soon. So we'll just do one signature and, I'll, and it'll be <clears throat> full of more pages and we'll do it right that way. All right. And then what I went ahead and did was um, I inserted this all the way and I collaged it. Now, because, because this is heavy... And the paper it's on is linen paper, but it doesn't give it so much support, like it curves a little bit. I, oh, I, most of the time, <clears throat> I put a side tuck back here, and I'm going to do that with you today. And then I have this one here. I finished the collaging, put it in there, and it holds pretty well. This paper isn't so bad. It's not too thick. That's This envelope's not too thick. It doesn't have the double flip. It only has one. But I'm still going to um, make this paper a little bit firmer by putting up a pocket on this side. Okay. So let's get started. I did say I was going to collage um, a master board. I don't know that I'm going to do a full master board. But maybe we'll just do just like a sheet. And we'll cut it up and use it for the, um, for those tucks. And we use this. This was in my good old uh, General Hospital freebie book. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of this edge. That's all I'm doing. Okay, let's get to collaging. Oh, so how are you? I hope you're all well. I know I just finished my other video, so it seems kind of strange to say that again. Because <laughs> I just asked you guys that. But that's all right. I'm asking you again. I need to uh, cut down my general hospital book. It's too bulky to leave on the desk for right now. So I need to take it out of its cover and bring the pages over 
you know, use the pages that way. So I'm not even going to bother putting it up on my desk. It's too bulky. It's too big. Where are my cards? Yeah, I'm just going to make a small little collage board. Teeny tiny one to get started. And then I should have set a timer. <laughs> I do that so much. So much. Although this video won't be as long as the last one. I don't know that it'll take me that long to make a collage board on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It shouldn't, right? <clears throat> you never know. You never know. So have uh, how did you guys like the the cover uh, tutorial? Did you did you guys enjoy the that leather piece on the front? I really I really like it. I have I have so many things now running through my mind for leather pieces to do with leather. I I think I might do some more leather in this journal that we're working on now for sure hmm put that there um i do have an idea i just didn't i didn't put it into perception yet in my brain well what i do with my ruler oh it's right in front of me, as always. Somebody told me to turn this over. I don't know who it was. I apologize. Um, sometimes it works for me, and sometimes it doesn't, because it doesn't that it doesn't catch. Oh, look at that! It worked today. It all depends. I have things under my mat, so so the hard part is is that I. It doesn't always catch the ruler. That's my issue. Because <clears throat> I have stuff under there. Okay. This is not a very colorful collage board, let me tell you. I need some color. It's very not colorful. Let's get some color, shall we? Um, here's some gold. And... Hmm. Oh, here's some blue. This is colorful. Oh, now it's better. Much better. Much, much better. <clears throat> yeah so those um envelope things you can use many things to do flips in your book you can use little little baggies um envelopes um Um, you can use a piece of collage board to make a flip out and put a pocket in it. You just have to uh, hinge it. Hinge it on. And you can pretty much kind of make a flip with anything. Mm -hmm. This is so beautiful. This is real. Real stuff. I love the feel of this paper. I just love it so much. And these signatures are gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I went too short. That's okay. It's all right. We'll cover.
cover it with something else. I'm gonna put this here and that there. We'll do that. Yes. Yes, we will. Yeah, I like to make the flips in the book. I love making interactive books. <clears throat> and the um, the envelope is, you know, it's so easy because you get it in the mail. It's junk. It's, you would just throw it away. You could also use store-bought envelopes, the dollar store, or envelopes you find at the thrift shop. That's good, too. All right. What else do we have here? I have all... You see this? I have all, all writing on this side and all <laughs> pictures on this side. What are we going to do to break that up? That was no good. Oh, some gold. I'm going to have to cut them this way. We'll use some gold. That's what we'll do. Gold is always an accent that matches nicely with gold or silver. It always matches nicely with things kind of metals them together. All right, so, and then what do I want to do at the bottom there? Something, something else, something else. Whoa, whoa, Nellie. Okay. Yeah, if we turn it that way, it looks better. And what can we do right there? <clears throat> hmm. How come I did that? Because I'm not paying attention. Because I meant to. That's, that's why. I meant to do that. Yes, I did. Well, you'll never know. Ha ha. <laughs> that's what my sister taught me for being an artist, you know. If you're, if you make a mistake, right, and you really don't like it, it's in the eye of the beholder. You, you don't have to like it, but if you show it to 10 other people, they might like it. I bet you eight. Maybe nine out of the ten. If they're honest, eight out of the ten. <laughs> if they're not honest, ten out of the ten. They'll like it. And they'll tell you they like it. They love it. But meanwhile, you're looking at it saying, oh, I know I messed that up. And I know that's wrong. And But you don't have to... Um, you, you don't have to um, hold on to that mistake. Because others probably will like it and you're always your worst critic right I know I am I'm I am my worst critic I think I'm gonna put some gold over here I'm just trying to figure out where because we do have gold in this book so we might as well carry it in in other places <clears throat> And I'm not worried about the back because we're going to put this down on a page and make it just sturdy. That's all. So that it, so that it um, has a place. Our pockets, our, um, what do you call it? Our base 
of our back side of our page where the flips are has a sturdier base. All right, so let's size this up here. First of all, I like this one. I think I'll cut it in three. Let me see. I might cut it in two and then make tag. No, I don't know yet what I'm doing. I don't know. I wanted two out of it. Maybe I might not get it. Let me just check it out here. I'm going to trim this off here. Okay. And let's see my height. Um, right about there. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot the line. I had the line in my head and then I lost it. I had an eye on it and I lost it. Okay, right about, right about there. Okay. That's going to be good for this side. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then let's do the other one. Hmm. This has a lot of red. Um, we will choose the gold here. The gold. That's what we will do. And how far do I want it over? Um, okay, so there... I'm just measuring you guys. And there. So here. And then here. Let's take a look how well I did. No, oh, I missed made it a tiny bit too long. That's okay. Good. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. Now we have these pieces left over, and of course we will use them somewhere. They won't go to waste. And now, hopefully, let me just check to make sure. This, I wanna see if this one looks better with the flower. I think I like the pinks better on this one with this flower. I do. All right. Now, we will pray that this makes a little pouch in here. Can we can we please do that? Can we please? Yes. Fantastic. It worked. Okay. I'm just going to glue it up. On the three sides. Like so. To make our little pocket. And give it some stability. That's the game here. Stability. Let it dry a second. Where's my... There we go. Just use a little paper towel. Okay. That's that side. And then 
on it. Am I recording? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll go over here. Now this one's a little plain Jane. So we can decorate it because there's no color. Hmm? Let's put let's put a little piece of pink on here. Shall we? Yeah. We can do that. Because it's plain. And because we can. Because we can just do whatever we want. There we go. Now it's not so plain. Okay, can we get as lucky as we did the last time? We should be able to because it's the same paper. So, pray. Yes. Prayers work. <laughs> okay. And we'll just do this up on this side. And glue it down. There we go. Now we have our, we have two pockets in here. And it kind of holds our base there. All right. And look, we can even make a tag. In here let's see if it will fit it's a little short it's not it's not what I wanted so we'll save it how about this yeah we'll use it somewhere else I don't I don't know what's hold up in there What's the hold up? My sister is making butternut squash soup and it smells so yummy up here. <laughs> yeah. I like it, but it's it's a little thin. I wanted it to, I want a bigger tag. So we'll just say this these things are good, but we can we can use them throughout the book. And we have our pockets now in here. So what else will we do? How about, I'm excited to make a tag to, ooh, look at her right there. <gasps> Maybe, can we just put her right there? Why not? No one says we can't. Wow, wowzer. Let me look. Let me look at them all. Oh, they all look pretty. How about you, honey? Oh, look, we could put her on the pocket. What about the other one? Oh, let me check. Oh. I think I like drawing this one better. Hmm. With the gold. Yeah, I like it. I gotta I gotta look at it. She's kinda getting lost on there. She's too she's too wide. I liked her here. I actually think I'm gonna stick her there. I liked her there a lot. Let's let's use her there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put her down. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna put her down there. I like her there. I do. So that's where you're going, lady. Elegant little lady. And this is uh, the Whimsy paper doll kit. It's in my shop. This is, uh, it has journal pages and some ephemera. And let me see if I can find my ephemera. Maybe we'll make some, we'll make some things today since my master board only took seconds to make. <laughs> get her feet okay I need to make sure I get her on here good well good as in centered oh I love it it looks beautiful and she looks dimensional because we we used the glue um the gold, the rub and buff on her embossed dress. So she looks dimensional. Oh, I love it. It looks beautiful. Beauteous. Beautiful. The next, when I get out my um, labels, we'll use some on the things that we do. All right, let's see what I have here. I know I have some stuff to make some. Um, tags. Oh, I had wanted to use this. Let's put this in here. Let's just, this is so cute. Somebody drew a map. This was somebody's school paper in Paris. It's French. We'll put it in the pocket. Maybe we can make some of those. There. I love it. Be it romantic. Um, let's see. Ooh, how about the bird on there? Oh, I like the bird on there. Where's my little itty bitties? Here's my itty bitties. My itty bitty, itty bitty scissors. He's cute. We're just starting, you guys. We're just decorating. Sometimes when you put things near something and you lay it down, it takes on a whole new idea. I've done so many projects that way where I have things laying on my desk then I move them around some sort of way and a whole new idea pops into my brain. Has anyone else ever done that? I'm sure. I am so certain. I think it is, um, you know, when you're a crafter, it's just, it's in your imagination. And that's a good idea to do when you can't get your your mojo back for things too, is to put some stuff out on the table. Just take some things out, things that inspire you. You're looking for stuff in your in your papers and things, and you're not inspired, or something does inspire you. One thing out of fifty, take it out. If it inspired you. I have unfinished projects everywhere because I have bins of things 
that are inspiring to me. And then I put them with like things of eventual projects. And if I'm bored or I can't get my creativeness out, I will, you know, like I'll take this and put it in a in a bin you all saw me have the like a bin here and then put it away and take out another bin to work on oh i like him there just to get my inspiration back you know because sometimes your inspiration leaves you especially coming and going that happens to me a lot because i come and go from my studio i leave for a few days and then I go and visit my children um in the, and around the holidays too if I leave my studio and go to my children's house there really isn't much crafting for me to do there so I'm not really crafting and then when I come back into my studio I get um you know locked up like frozen and not knowing what to do because I've been away too long. I like the bird. Yes, I do. I like it a lot. I'm leaving him there. He looks cute. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going. Ooh. Um, I had some fabric. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe on a tag. Oh, here's a calling card. Give you a calling card. We can do that. There's two calling cards. Hmm. We're just going to spend a little bit of time using the kit, making some ephemera. I don't know how much I'll be able to get to. I have to get on the road soon. And I want to start before there's traffic. Hey, but the good thing is my kids have good Wi-Fi and I won't have to go to Starbucks to do the video. <laughs> I'll just upload it there. That's a good thing. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. Little calling card on the color. I like that. And the gray on the back, you guys, it could be could write on it. Okay, we do that. Hold on here. Where's my time out? Wait a minute. I need my cutter because I want to make it straighter. because it does look old. Okay. Oh, I like it a lot. And where are you? Here you are. I'm just going to leave the back gray because you can write on it. No biggie. We don't have to cover it. Although we could cover it again if we wanted to. Make sure it's straight. It's straight. I love it. 
looks good. And hmm. let's see. I just use a piece of this. Just a piece. Do I have my straight? Uh, I'm gonna use my big hole punch on here. That. I'm gonna just put this in here, and I want this to stay, but I don't want a knot. I just want it to stay like that. How? We'll just glue it. I would put a stitch in it, but I'm not doing that right now on camera. I am not sewing at the moment. Just put, we'll just use a little bit of glue. And then maybe, what else? Um, maybe I'll stitch a button on there when the glue dries. A little button. That could be good. What do I have? It's a green one. Hmm. Look at how cute. <clears throat> I like that. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. It's a little small. I was thinking of something bigger. Um, well, we don't have to make the decision today. No one said that. Nope. Not a single person said we have to make that decision today. Um, I don't really have anything else in front of me. I wasn't kind of prepared, but it's an idea. It's an idea, but I like that. That's beautiful. And we'll put that right here where the flowers are. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, paper clip. And clip it in. Like so. Like so. That's cute. Tag there. All right, I really liked this yellow piece here. Uh, maybe we'll do the same thing, but we need, but I don't, oh, oh, maybe we'll just take, maybe I have enough room. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be too um, big. We'll check it out. We can always make it a bit smaller. Hey, no, no one said you could do that right now. I'm working here. Mm. All right. Oh, it fit. Oh, good. I'm going to do that. Make this one a little tag, too. That's good. Look at that, you guys. We got stuff done today. Can you believe it? OMG. I'll just ink up around these edges so they're not so white. Okay. Glue it down. And glue it down. Oh, that butternuts. You guys can't smell it. I know. <laughs> if we had smell o vision oh man. <laughs> Imagine that one day they have smell o vision some kind of scent comes out through your TV if you mention the word. Because, you know, when you guys mention words, your iPhone, your iPhone suddenly knows what you're talking about. Okay. 
Hmm. We need a little piece of gold on there. Just a tiny. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, maybe we'll just put a tiny piece of trim there. Why not? Love it. And we'll stuff it in a pocket. I love that. Oh, wait. We'll do it over here. Wait, and some of this is coming unraveled. Okay, better. Ah, oh, I like it. Like it's like a little calling card. <laughs> Let's round the corners in the small, the small one. I never can find that where the number is. Oh, it takes me a minute to find the number. <laughs> okay. Yes, we'll round the corners. Is this the round? This isn't even the one I wanted. I wanted the small one. Oh, it is the small one. Oh no, it looks it looks very rounded. It's okay. There's a calling card. The lady. The lady has a calling card. Let's put this in the pocket. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, I love it. I don't know that I don't have a timer on, so I'll do one more thing. You know, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I do that so often. So, so often. I should be ashamed of myself. And. There we go. We need some flowers. The ladies need flowers. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Gorgioso. Guys, I could tell you this now because it happened already. But, you know, I sent... Roxy Creations, a happy meal. I did. I sent her a happy meal. I made her a book on, and on TikTok, it received like over 70,000 views. I kid you not. 70,000 views I got for the book on TikTok that I sent to her. And <clears throat> when I sent it, um, in the mail, in the happy mail, my package sat in customs for four months. Four months. It was stuck in customs. And every day I went to the post office and I said, I'm going to, I'm just going to make a um, board out of this so that this can be, the back can be a, a writing piece. Um, every day. I went to the mail, well, not every day, but I went to the mail, like, a lot, <laughs> and I said, you know, any news or anything, now, I live in a small town, so my post office is, um, you know, it's not a big city, so they do small things there, and I went there often, and I said, uh, can we find out anything? And they always said to me, I have to call. I have to, I have to, um, you know, I have to find out elsewhere. I can't, there's nothing they can do there. So I had called a few times and now mind you, without having good service, you know, for the internet, I also don't have good service for phone. So when I don't have someone that I can place a call to on Wi-Fi, which is not even good as it is anyway, but especially like my kids, they all have iPhones, so I can call them good. I have an iPhone. Um, I don't, I get, always get disconnected. So a few times I tried to call the post office and I would get disconnected and I just got disgruntled and stopped trying. Um, but anyway, so I never 
got through to the post office and I just said, all right, I'll just wait this out. And I did some research online to wait it out to, to see if it was going to go through or it wasn't going to go through the customs, if it was going to get returned to me or however that was going to work. And then finally, I went and, and I had the time to call and I called and I put in a complaint because the lady said, you know, it had been so long that I should put put in a complaint and it was sent certified and all that. So I should put in the complaint. So now I filed the complaint and I, um, and then I can see the tracking again and there's movement. After I file the complaint, I get a letter in the mail. The letter comes to me here in the mail. It's from my complaint. And it says that they've contacted Italy and the package was returned to me. Well, I never received any package. And as soon as I put in the complaint, um, uh, that's when all of the information like was coming to me. I think I'll do it this way. That's when I was getting all of the notifications. So I'm saying, wait a minute, it wasn't returned to me. They're just starting movement on this because I started the complaint. So now, oh, let's make a big tag. Yeah, we'll do that. So now I, I start, I, I, I'm getting annoyed now because now I get a letter that says it was returned to me from, and it wasn't returned to me. I didn't receive it. So now I keep following the tracking or whatnot and the post office told me that, you know, possibly I should get it soon. If it wasn't returned to me yet, I should get it soon. So now I get this whole notice that it's, it's, it's on its way to the destination. Me thinking it's on its way to Rachel from Roxy Creations. And no, it started to come back to the United States. So then, now this is going on for like two weeks, you guys. So then, oh wait, I'm making a little pocket. Let me see. This one? Um, I'll make a pocket in the back. This way. And let me, let me see. I'll put this flower right here like that. I like that. So now, it takes about two weeks, and so I finally, it finally comes back to the United States. So it gets right here, close to me. I live in Pennsylvania. It gets to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or Harrisburg, or Lancaster, or somewhere around there, Pennsylvania. And the postmaster says that I'm going to be getting it back any day now, and that we can find out what happened, and then I could, you know, resend it. And so it doesn't come to me. It starts to go again back to New York. And I'm saying, oh my gosh. So then the postmaster said, maybe they maybe they saw that it was supposed to go to Italy and they're resending it from they're resending it from Lancaster or whatever. So it goes back to Jamaica, Queens, New York, which is where they said their hub is to go for international mail. So I was like, okay, all right, so maybe as long as it gets there, that's all that matters to me. I just wanted to get there. Well, after a few days of all this now, it finally, it gets to me. It comes back to me. And then I, I get it, and the postmaster told me, don't do anything to it. Let me see it first, because, you know, he's going to find out what happened because there was a whole bunch of writing and stuff on the outside first of all they opened up my package all it was was papers and a book that were in there and stuff and they, they and gifts they opened my package they went through everything they stole from it <laughs> they put back an empty wrapper inside the package they took the stuff out and put an empty wrapper and they returned it to me after four months and then had a sticker on the outside of the box that charged me. Well, I didn't, I don't know. Nobody paid for it. So I don't know who paid for it, but there was a fee that said $27 to return, return fee. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so lividly sick. I didn't even want to, I was so, I was just so hurt for days. I was hurt. I didn't know what to do after that for days. And then I said, you know what? 
I must, I don't know. Oh, here's a little pocket in here. Maybe we'll add this. This is a pocket with a pocket. I was so hurt. I, I just didn't know what to do after that. And I held on to it for a little bit longer. And then um, I had received a mail from, from France because I ordered something from France. And they had used um, UPS. And I was, and I got it in a few days whatsoever. I had tracking and everything. And I was like, huh, I'm going to use UPS to send this to Rachel. I like this on there. I'm going to use UPS to send this to Rachel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use UPS. So I go to UPS and I bring all the mail there and I put it in a box and I do everything like that. And... I go through the whole process and I have the line waiting and everything and I'm holding up the whole store and whatnot. And the lady tells me, you know, it's going to be expensive to send there. And I was like, oh, I don't even care at this point. I, I just want to get it to Rachel because I made it for her and I wanted her to have it. And um, I the guy tells me the total at the end and he goes well that'll be uh 273 dollars and i said what two two hundred i go i could fly there myself and bring it to her 273 dollars no thank you i'm so sorry to hold up your line i said <laughs> and i walked out i was so fr frustrated oh i was i was frustrated for so long I want to do something else on here, but I just don't know what. I was I was just frustrated. Well, anyway, Rachel, she got my my happy meal and she wrote me a, a, a thank you. It was it was just I'm just happy that she got it. I really am. Um, let's see. I like this here. I like this little piece of lace there I think I'm gonna put that there let's take it off this is like a coffee dyed uh, oh look and there's a button on there too we'll just leave that hmm. oh, I like that well thanks for listening to my story <laughs> all right let's staple this on here like this huh we can do that no one says we can't. I like it. There's a pocket in the back here. And we're going to... I'm just going to clip all these in places because I, I really don't know if I'm going to leave the clips on. But it's where I'm starting with them. So we'll make one more tag and then we will call it a day. Mm, this is gold. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, wait. We still have this left here. Maybe we will make another one. That's what we will do. We have this left, and we'll go ahead and make another one. Ruler. Ruler, come out, come out, ruler. Thank you. It always hides on me, that little thing. Like It likes to play games with me. <laughs> okay. Oops. I had it in my brain and I lost it, which is usually what happens. I have it in my brain and then I'll, I'll lose it. Okay. Let, um, should we bring the pocket up this time? No, I actually, I like that look in the front. So we'll put the pocket back here like that. And we will put this flower. You want, I want to leave, I'll leave the pink on there. I like the pink. So I will link the kit that I'm using below. And, um, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Um, waste some time with Maggie. Uh, I sent you mail and you had won the um in my giveaway the snippet roll and i'm just wondering because i haven't heard from you 
if you received my package. Um, I did check the postage and it, it doesn't actually say that it's delivered to you. So I don't know if you've received it or not and I haven't heard from you. I think I would hear from you if you did receive it. So I do know that there is not a way to get in touch with me through, uh, you know, YouTube, but you could email me, of course. Um, but I think you would email me if you did receive it. So I'm just curious to know if you've received it. And I will also email you, Maggie, if you uh, email me, it, it, if you want um, the tracking information. I should have done that. I will go ahead and do that, too. So you... So you have that. Um, let's see. Should we do that again? I have more with this button. Or should we just put another different piece? Oh, maybe we'll just put a different piece. Oh, look at this. It's all tattered. What do I want? This? I don't want the whole thing. Let's see. I like that. We'll use that. Okay. Now we can put stuff in the pocket. We'll find another page to put those. I'm not going to put it back there because <laughs> I already used those papers and things. Put it somewhere different. We will put it where? Oh, here. I like it here. I do. Let's see. I like it here too. Probably going to like it everywhere because I'm cuckoo like that. I just like it everywhere. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed the rest of your day. Um, I know I have a video going up today. I'll have one tomorrow. I'm not sure about Wednesday. Oh, I love it. I'm not sure about Wednesday. We'll see what time I get home and such. But right now, I'm leaving. I'm leaving to go celebrate my child's birthday. He's 27. Luya. Luya. My other my other two have birthdays in the summer. We're summer babies. My youngest and my oldest have birthdays in July and we are all one week apart. That's my my oldest son. I'm going to just gold put gold around here. Oh, I love it. My oldest son is um 20 28 and his birthday is the 22nd of July and then mine is the 28th of July and then my baby's is the 29th of July. <laughs> so we all have July birthdays except for Louie. He's in October. Oh, I like it. See that? You can always just do little things here and there to touch up your project. I'm still not knowing about this right here. We'll decide. We have plenty of time. But thank you so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day. And I'll be back soon. Okay, bye for now.